All right, welcome back to The Last of Us Laundromat Scene, and this is what we've got so far. Uh, I'm going to be texturing the well, washers in this scene. I've got the floor here, got the pillars and the walls and all that. The windows are still tentative, and as you can see, I have done the risers similar to the, the small tables here, and I don't know if we've had a good look at those yet. That's what that looks like. And I've got the other riser down here. I've done this back wall. We can talk about that sometime if, if you like. All right, and I have also done, uh, I've also done the, uh, some of the dryers over here. And I can talk about that sometime. Just figured I'd get some stuff done and, um, you know so we don't have to do everything together you'll notice there's some similarities here these are instanced and so you know when i do something here it's propagated along they're all the same but i think in the grand scheme of things based on the angle i'm going to shoot this and the distance we're going to be okay we're going to run into the same kind of thing with these washers as well all right um and i like i said in a previous video i might break them out and uh you know change things up but i might not um whatever okay so we're going to do that and i have a little bit of touch-up work that i need to do uh, as well so let's just focus here on on the washer okay so where is my washer right there okay so i'm just going to focus just on those uh the first thing i'm going to do is because these would be sort of old and metal and rusty i'm going to throw down a rusty uh, material so I'm gonna come over to my materials I'm gonna search for rust and I'm just gonna use this rust fine and I think I'm going to be okay with the defaults um, settings uh, on that so I'm going to go ahead and leave that so I'm gonna create a fill layer now after that and I'm gonna have color height and roughness on this and the color is going to be basically that kind of white. I don't actually think I want to use metal. Um, we'll see, but we'll, we'll have a look at, at how it looks uh, without it. So the height, uh, I want a little bit of height on this. So let's do just 0 .0 0 0.1. And we'll be cutting away out of this to reveal some rust underneath. And the roughness, uh, let's try 0 0.17. And, you know, that, you know, first of all, I'll get a little bit of the rust uh, height or, or information underneath there. And I hope in my, you know, just with the way I render it, it will look good enough instead of having to throw on metal because I find the metal, if I put that on, it just, it doesn't, it doesn't really give me what I want. So I'm gonna do it that way. Okay, and let's try on here. Actually, let's do this. Let's just call this rust. And I'm gonna call this main. And I'm going to add a filter and we'll try this um, matte finish rough. And that'll just, that will act a little bit like a, uh, a roughness variation. By having that on there, not overly visible. And, uh, okay. All right, so we've got that going on. All right, so let's come back to here and let's add now on here. Let's add a black mask. And let's try the generator, the metal edges generator. Let's just do that. And I'm going to press invert. And we'll have this. And let's adjust some of these values. So I'm going to bring the... Um, Bring that down, 0 0.64, contrast, uh, I'm going to have triplanar on, and um, let's go for grunge about 0 0.4, 
let's try a grudge scale we'll try eight eight or nine doesn't really matter edge smoothness let's try bringing that up let's try four And bringing this down now is helping to not have that everywhere. So let's go with 4.3 and curvature weight of 0.47. So I've got a little bit of, of that in there. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do and I might add it a little bit more, but I'm at, going to add a paint layer and switch to my brush, my dirt brush. And let's just see if I, if I do that, okay. If I go X, I can cut through it and add a bit more if I want here and there. Okay, so. Uh, I'm actually going to go for this one. And I'm just going to throw in a little bit more here and there where I want it. If I do, I don't really need to do that much to this. I kind of like it as it is. And if I do something like, you know, that, it becomes very, it's really obvious that it's copied a lot so I'm not going to do much more than that I'm just going to come over here and and maybe get rid of a little bit and just tap and go through here just that kind of a thing yeah I don't want to do that okay so that's my base sort of with metal does it look like metal a little bit and I get some imperfections in the surface and, you know, there are multiple objects in this scene, and so I don't necessarily have to do much more than that. I'm going to paint out a little bit on these knobs. I can leave a little bit. I'm going to be covering that up anyhow, so I'm not sure it's really going to matter. Just a bit of that and get rid of it like that. So that's the really nice thing about Substance Painter is you really can paint. Okay. All right, yeah, and I don't mind having that underlying uh, damage on the knobs and stuff. All right, let's add a little bit of dirt on this now. All right, create a fill layer. I'm going to call this dirt. And I'm going to use color and I suppose I can use color and roughness. And I'll make this sort of a dark brown. And I'll use I'll try the dirt generator. get some dirt into the crevices and you really won't see in behind there anyhow so we just want that just on the surface so it's on here and that is fine so let's move on nothing very amazing about the, this texturing by any means it's just grungy machines here all right so we've got some dirt um do i need another roughness variation i don't know that i really do i'm not going to do it right now and so I'll just move on to looking at the knobs. 
And uh, to do that, I think I'll, let's duplicate this layer here. I'm just gonna bring it up and I'm going to get rid of uh, this and this and uh, clear that mask. In fact, I'll get rid of it for the moment so that we, no, I don't need to. Uh, I'm just going to make this um, maybe color and roughness. Think about the roughness. I just wanted a dark kind of color for the moment. Uh, this is, we're going to put that on uh, the dial here. So let's let's choose that my polygon fill and come over here and choose mesh and I'm going to put it on all of these and we'll we'll get some matte finish and we'll get some underlying uh, stuff. So I think I'll just come back here and uh, take the roughness back. I want them a little bit shiny, so something like that. Okay, so I'm just going to call this block. And then I'm going to duplicate it again. And I'm going to clear the mask. And I'll make it this part now. I'm going to make light. Back to the mask. Polygon fill. And this time I'm going to choose that. And put it on here. And for this one, I think I'm going to choose the UV chunk. So we're getting this. And again, I don't mind the underlying height. There's ways to override that. I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I could look at this. And I could change this if I want. I could do that. I have a little bit a little bit less okay that's okay with me though as it is okay and this one is going to be white and I'm going to take this and I'm going to duplicate it one more time and I'm going to make this one a reddish color and I'll clear the mask and uh, I'm going to put it on here. I was thinking of an emission, but I don't think I'm going to. I'll do it like that. Okay, I'm just going to call that red. And uh, that's close to it. I'm just going to put a little bit of text on here. So let's do this with a fill. I'll call this text and it's going to be color and height I'll do it in black pretty much drop the height a little bit that might be too much I'll put a black mask and I'll paint and I'll come to my alphas and I'll search for font I'm just going to use this cour this uh, courier font and uh, let's go into orthographic just so that we have a little bit of something it's not going to be very very readable let's just do a test here and uh, okay so what we'll do is I'm going to switch this this is going to be um, let's say uh, I'll have like level load actually Okay, so let's make sure this is dark. And I'm going to, on here, change this to bold. And let's try it here. We'll have load. Uh, let's change this to maybe temp.
And here we could call this maybe wash cycle. I'll reduce the size and increase it here. I'll do it like that, wash cycle. And then we'll do something like uh, deposit coins. Let's see if I can fit that in here. Deposit coins. And let's try just duplicating it. That'll darken it up. And um, hmm, now that I've done that, uh, I want to actually try one more thing before I do that. I'm going to grunge it up in just a minute. Uh, let's try adding a, a filter. Let's try see if a sharpen does anything for us. Sharpen did help there. And in that case, I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to come to this one and I'm going to go to my eraser with my dirt brush. This one here, just with a very low flow. Let's just try it there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Lower the flow and just tap this out a little bit. That's good enough. All right, let's make sure that we are in perspective. There's my text. I'm going to save. And that is all I really think I'm going to need at this point. So I'm going to bring back everything. And let's have a look under a couple of different lighting situations. I'm going to go back to this one that I had done before. So we can see the damage pretty good on that. And I think it looks metallic enough as it is. All right, so that's what that looks like. Let's try this. And of course we can adjust the, the environment light if we want. I'm gonna maximize. And our, I mean, it's not gonna be that bright, but our view is gonna be something like this, All right? So let's see. this is what we get all right and obviously post-processing and the rendering and post-processing is going are going to change things so this is just another prop in there it's possible that i need to bang up that block a little bit i'll think about that i'm not sure i'm that concerned but that gives us our washers our dryers uh we have the other dryer to do on the other side we've got the tvs to do so there will be more to do so what i'll do is i'm going to leave it at that for now and I'll go ahead and probably texture the other dryers on my own. Maybe I'll do it with you. I'm not sure. We can come back and talk about this, this wooden wall. There's nothing special that I did. There's just a bunch of different layers on there. Some of this stuff is currently at 1K. Some of it's at 2K. Hopefully, I'll bring it up enough. But I'm not planning on zooming in. I mean, I may have, I may have a, a render from you know this kind of position, um, you know, and hopefully it will look okay especially with post-processing where you use some sharpening and some color balancing and all of that so uh, but that that is what we have right now and there are my washers and really from something like this i think it looks okay that they're instanced and they're the same unless you really want to do something where you know doors off you want to have scratch certain scratches on one and not on the other but for what i'm doing you know i think we're okay all right, so I'm going to leave it at that. We still have more to do. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.